All right, YouTube. So today what I'm going to do is show y'all the machines I have because people always ask me, what machines you have, what you be using? You know, so I'm just going to show a little shit I be working with. Yeah. But this right here, this was the first thing I ever bought. The Epson XT610. And it also has the refillable cartridges on the inside. This is what I've been using for like the past four years. But it recently, it recently stopped working. But I'm gonna take it to see if it can get fixed. And if it costs me about a hundred or two hundred dollars, then I'm gonna go ahead and get it fixed because this was a good ass printer. Um, to replace this printer, I recently got this right here. That's the Epson ET. 2720 and um you know it got the little the tanks on here so you don't have to keep buying cartridges you buy the little ink supply thing and just put it in there fill it up fill it up see how much ink i got in there um, i didn't have this i didn't have this for a few months um me i don't like it i like this printer better the print the quality of this printer is way better when i when i when i uh look at the the printer and if the printer can print money and it look real that's the printer i want if i printed it with this printer it wouldn't look like how it would look off this printer this printer if i printed a hundred dollar bill it would look real if i print it on here you'll be able to tell this off visual all right, um, it's a Singer Promise 2. It's a little sewing machine. I'm gonna buy a couple more, probably um, the beginning of the next year. But this is what I be using right here. It's a little vinyl I just cut for this little outfit I'm about to do. Um, this is my um, Cricut Explorer 1. Everybody be asking me a lot of questions, but you got to understand like there's different type of vinyl cutters. So if you don't have a vinyl cutter I have, then most of the time I can't really tell you how to go about going through the program. But this is what I use. I use Cricut. You know, um, I, the reason I use Cricut is because it's simple. When I first started, you know, I didn't really know too much about it. It was easy for me to use. I didn't want to use a computer. I didn't want to use a laptop because I just felt like I always had my phone with me. So I wanted to be able to have something compatible with my phone. So I'd be able to work whenever I'm, whenever I feel like it, you know, I could just pull my phone out and just do a little design or something, you know, so it just made it more simpler because I can just download the program from out of, out of one of the apps, either um, if I got the Apple or I got the, um, the Android. So I can download the app and I can go on about my business. So that's why I like it a lot. And um, I'm, I plan on upgrading. I plan on upgrading. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to switch to um, the silhouette. I'm good on that because, you know, for me to be able to use the silhouette, I will only be able to, um, I will only be able to use it if I'm sitting at a laptop or a computer. So, you know, I'm, uh, good on that this is my ipad it was a gift to me because before just running the cricket i would use my phone i had an android you know i'm designing off apps and stuff like that and i'm doing it all off my phone so i had this for um like a year and in about two weeks that's how long i had it and it's been a big compliment to my business, so I appreciate it to kill, you know. You know, your, friend, your friends uh, buy you stuff like that when they believe in you. Let me see. Uh, this is a heat press. This also was a gift. The previous heat press I had, it was a gift too. I ended up giving it to my niece. It was a little, it was a little smaller. This only, this only a 15 by 20. You know, I'm probably uh grab something new the beginning of the year you know for bigger presses this 
here. It's uh like 12 by 15, I believe. But it's still, it gets the job done. You know, so I'm, I'm not complaining. Um, let me see what else I have. And this machine right here. I haven't even opened this one. That's that Epson EcoTank 15,000. It looks it looks similar to the 2720 I have up there. But this one, I'm going to um, change it over for sublimation. And I also have some ink I'm going to put in there. I'm going to put in a sublimation ink. You know, I'm going to do an unboxing. I'm going to do an unboxing in November. And I'm going to start sublimating. So, yeah, that's, that's it, really. You know? The Epson XP16. A little Eco Tank 2720. That Eco Tank 15,000. Not even open yet. I done had it for I done had it for uh about two months now. I just haven't got around to using it. You know, got some whole other stuff I'm about to get into. You know, the singer promise to. And cricket explorer one. And it's like it's like an Amazon heat press or something. You know, so that's what it is. 